Let's go. Okay. Hi. Holding you here. All right. You got it. Nice one. Topside John. Come check. Nine seven zero is still pressure. All equalized. Equalized. Stop sign, John. So the water color is changing. Uh, bubbles are to make sure there's no ice above us. Oh. Ice? Yeah. That's ice fish or rice? Alright. That's, That's ice, ice fish. fish. Ice fish. Ice fish, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Transparent. Transparent, yeah. Nobody can, nobody can make out that. This. And because she changes shape, you see? Different. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. O2, two, zero decimal now. CO2, zero decimal, two, six. Internal pressure, nine, seven, eight. When C, nine, eight. HP remain, it's nine, good four. External temperature, zero. Yeah, one zero three. Ultimate two. Heading one six nine. Twenty four volts three six. Two sixty volts five zero. O two main valve one zero and O two main stern five zero. Do you have our readings? Stars, yeah. They will grow to big ones, or they don't grow. No, they do get big, yeah. There's, there are many different species, hundreds of species of starfish. Look at the eyes of this one. You see, you see, yeah, oh yeah. my god, that's cool. I saw that on the documentary. So when the big icebergs are moving, they spread the ground, the seaball. Uh, it's not only rocks, right? There's no other rocks around here. So, so this is the rock, right? That's yeah. the drop stone, yeah. Mm -hmm. And how oh, big. Oh, look how nice it is. It's like a TV there. for the seafloor. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think. No, 
fish I'm snake curious here. to read about those sponges. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes. They are just something else. It's like surreal. It's like a picture, not not <laughs> alive. I know. Sponge. So cute, eh? It's the idea for the ceramic designs. It's a great idea. <laughs> the jars, yeah. The nature is the best artist. Yeah, what does it look like? Looks like what? You know, the, like a fly. <laughs> yeah, like a fly. Very tiny, but still surviving. It's cold. These must be so strong, you know, it's very deep. The smallest creature is they survive the living oh. millions of years, right? Yeah. It's a big one, yeah. Sun star. Big sun star. He's hunting. His eggs are in the air. He's looking to catch little fish in the crow. I we have here too. Oh, yeah. What have you got? Sun star at the bottom. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Yes, I saw we just went over and let's look for the stars for the wind. My favorite are these uh, vase sponges here, yeah, these big ones with the, um, the orange ones, these big sponges. So they have filtering water, you're saying? Yeah, the icebergs. <laughs> This is the water cactus kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, this is the. Oh, there's a fish. Can you see the fish? Yes, the yeah, that's a, that's a fish. Yeah, see the one I'm telling you, the head inside the ground, moving the tail. This is ice fish, right? Topsa John. Half readings: O two two zero decimal nine zero two zero decimal two. Zero decimal two seven internal pressure at nine seven seven depth one one five altimeter three and heading one two zero. Do you have my readings? Space, right? Exactly. It's also kind of space. Yeah. <laughs> Underwater. Two spaces. Underwater and cosmic. Yes. Different and strange and interesting. Look at the stars. They're so cute. <gasps> wow, nice? there's a different starfish. Volcanic eruption, those you are saying there. I think these, um, yeah, I'm looking at some light. Plantation or wow, that starfish? Yeah, they are small. Stars. Stars. Look. So these small, small starfish. It's very nice. Star, yeah. 
What is this? You see a sun star there with his arms in the air, he's hunting. Oh, yeah, that sun star. Oh, hunting for any small fish that swim past or um, any sea snails that come oh, into his There's way. a fish, you see that? This one? What can you see? The face, the, the head is in the sand. Shell. It's a shell. I think it's a shell. Yeah. very cold down here at zero degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit. So you have to be very strong to survive down here. Swordfish on the side. Swordfish? Moving. The submarine is digging up this hole. No. It's doing what? It's digging up the hole. Say what? No, it's, it's this the... hole we are just resting. We are no, not resting, we're still there. It's oh. because we are round, right? It That's looks, the... Uh, the domes are round and they make things look uh, closer than what they really are. It's five meters. Uh, but they also make things look smaller, so they're bigger in real life. So right now I am in a submarine. This is first time I'm doing this in, in at uh, Antarctica. It's very nice. As you can see, the submarine the seats are there. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and you can see. Feels like uh, we are in a bathtub. That's Made. Hello. Made, wave to the camera. It's nice and cozy feeling. Yeah. Very excited. Very first nice. Time in a very nice. I hope uh, we're going to see some excite, uh, exciting things down there and I'm loving it, it's beautiful. As you can see, this is how people come from. This is the hole. It's vacuum packed. You see the systems, wow. Perfectly high tech. What number are you? Six? Uh, five. Uh, five uh, I managed to get off work. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so the submarine is John. My name is Josh, but uh, I'll be calling us John when we talk to the surface officer. These guys are watching us the whole time underwater. So every 15 minutes or so I'll be making contact with these guys, we don't interrupt too much. But uh, besides that, it's important that we get on the Zodiac uh, uh, submarine correctly. These black areas, sandpaper, that's where we're going to stand. There's the most grip over there. So we don't want to stand on the yellow, yellow is slippery, stand on the black. You're going to be coming up like this, from the yellow step onto the tube, onto the yellow, submarine, both hands on the rail. Sit down onto the board, free board. Keep your hand on the rail, swing one leg over, second leg over. You'll find some orange handles. Find them, and down the ladder you go. If you've got odd number, you go to the right. If you've got an even number, you go to the left. Your seat number is situated around your neck. Sounds good? Very good, excellent. Odd numbers excellent. to the right? Odd numbers to the right, yes. Odd numbers to the right. And I'm going to call you in order. I'm going to be starting with number three, please. Number three, that's me. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs>